Param Desai is research analyst at uh, Prabhudas Lidadar and he's joining us now with his uh, call on uh, hospitals. Uh, Prabhudas is quite bullish on the hospital space. <clears throat> Thanks very much uh, for joining us, uh, uh, Param. Good morning, Prashantya. Uh, let's get uh, straight down to which are the names where you think uh, which are best placed uh, from a risk reward perspective, perspective from that space, hospital space? Yeah, so we are structurally positive in the space. Uh, if you see in the last two years, the profitability has gone up pretty sharply. Uh, uh, the company which had done a lot of capex intensity in the say, 15 to 19, the benefit of that was started getting visible uh, in the last say, two years or so. Uh, we believe that earnings momentum will sustain uh, going forward. Uh, most of these guys have lined up the capacity addition in the next say, four to five years. The current uh, say, revenue per patient is also been going up uh, at a very steady pace. Uh, more important, I think the case mix and the payer mix are also going up uh, in the favor of the companies. So we see the earnings momentum to sustain. Uh, we are positive on the space. Our preferred picks in the in the in the in the space is Apollo Hospital, Max, and Fortis. Mm. Which of the hospitals where we are likely to see a big jump or an improvement in occupancy in say an FI24, according to you? Yeah, so most of the companies uh, uh, say have not reached to its optimum utilization level. Uh, like companies like Apollo, Fortis, they are still hovering around 64-67% of occupancy levels. If you see pre-COVID, they were touching their occupancy to 72-73%. There is a still room uh, of uh, improvement in terms of occupancy in the current level. So FI24 we will see further improvement in the occupancy. And post FI24, most of these guys have outlined the new capacity additions which will uh, further basically scale up and, and, and improve their uh, uh, say occupancy on a long-term basis. Hi, Param. Good morning. Nigel on this side. Uh, Param, I wanted to ask you about Astra DM. You know, that was the big uh, uh, stock that's got actually re-rated. It was hovering in 150, 130, 180 odd. It's moved to around 300 rupees. Now, the street is waiting by for maybe there could be a deal in the offering. Uh, what's your view on the stock at, at current levels? It still trades at a bit of a discount, but how do you approach it? Yes, if you see uh, the last two years that India business has done exceptionally well, their profitability in India business have gone up pretty sharply, say 150, 160 crore of EBITDA to around 400 crore in the last two, three years. And along with that, GCC business has also recovered post the COVID. And as you rightly mentioned, there is a deal in the offing. So they intend to monetize the GCC part of the business which the currently market is not giving uh, a, a good valuation currently. And if you see some of the businesses in GC uh, do trade at a higher multiple than what SDM currently is trading at. So they are able to monetize it at a reasonably good valuation. And whatever cash inflow comes in from that transaction, that is likely to get distributed in the form of dividends and will be utilized for the capex uh, part for the India part of the business. So that will re-rate the stock and, and we see upside uh, post the, post the uh, stake sell whenever it happens in the GCC. And that should happen in the next uh, three to six months. That's what the management has been guiding. Mm. Param, uh, on Fortis, which you mentioned is uh, one of the names that you like, uh, will, uh, will, will its performance uh, at par with other uh, hospitals depend on the resolution of, uh, you know, what will happen with IHH? Uh, any, uh, anything on that? Or you think, I mean, it will continue to do well irrespective of that? So obviously the case, uh, there is an overhang on the case. Uh, the timing of that is still remains uncertain. But even on operational parameters, if you see that currently the, the, the hospital margins are at 17% versus 20, 22, 25% what some of the peers are reporting. Uh, they are taking certain steps. Uh, they are doing a lot of brownfield expansion in the next say, two to three years, which will aid further operating leverage. So we see there is a catch up in the margins in case of Fortis uh, in line with some of the peers. I think that will drive the stock performance and we, we remain very constructive on, on the margin improvement in, in case of quarters. And if whenever, whenever the, the, the case uh, resolution happens, that is over and above uh, the, the positivity. Uh, any thoughts on Krishna Institute of Medical Sciences? Is that a stock that you track, Para? Yes, we, we do cover that stock. and we have a General buy Atlantic has been consistently selling and they've been a marquee holder in, you know, Kim's, for a long while now, they sold in December, I think they sold in Jan, they sold a little bit in February, again they've sold in June. So they have been lowering their stake. Would that worry you? I think they, uh, what, I, what I do uh, recollect is they have now just uh, find the one or two person stake. It's almost they are now, now out of the picture. So the, the supply uh, overhang is now pretty much uh, sorted. 
I think operationally, even Kim's is uh, exceptionally done in the last say, two years. Even they are adding their capacity in the next say, three to four years. They are following the cluster-based approach. Uh, they are very strong in the Andhra and Telangana. Uh, they are now basically uh, moving uh, this cluster-based approach to Maharashtra and Karnataka. They have done some two, three good transactions, have tied with the local guy over there. And we see that that, uh, that that event playing out in the next two, three years. Uh, they are almost adding 1,500 beds on a base of around, say, 4,000 in the next, say, three, four years. That will continue to drive the growth. So we remain very positive on the energy. Mm. Param, you don't have coverage on things like MedPlus, etc., right? Uh, we do not cover MedPlus. All right, got it. Uh, Param, thanks very much for joining us. Good speaking with you. Appreciate you joining in uh, with that perspective. That's the uh, hospital's uh, space.